So today I thought we'd talk about getting reference into Spotlight and uh, minimizing how much space it takes up on your screen. So here we have a, a character that I was making, but um, I would have started off with some reference normally. So if I go to File, Import, and get some reference, and go to my texture, select that, and click Add to Spotlight, that will add it to Spotlight. So with Spotlight selected, we can select this icon here, and then just rotate that around just to make sure that the opacity is set to 100%. My default, this will be somewhere around here. So we're just gonna bring this up to 100%, and then using this, we can scale it down and click anywhere inside it to move it around on our uh, screen here. So now that we have it, um, it's taking up too much space. I'd like to flip this. So I'm going to look at it from, from this direction instead. So I use this button here. But now I want to get rid of some of all this white um, stuff that we see around the background because it's basically just taking up too much screen real estate space. So to do that, all we need to do is paint it. And this is the icon here. If I click on this, and then change my color to black. Now it needs to be 100% black. Now I can change my brush size and start painting. And as I paint, you'll see that it actually removes the background behind it because 100% black will remove a background. So if you just very quickly need to get rid of some of a background, if you're not interested in, in certain aspects of it, you can just use this paint option here. And you'll see when I click on it, that the orange button is on. If I click it again, it turns off. So while it's on, I can click outside this circle and I can paint. And um, if I click inside the circle, it's just gonna move the whole um, texture. So if I want to actually move the, this dialog here, I just click paint one more time. That means anywhere I click now, I'll be moving the actual the ring and then I turn it back on in order to paint. So this is one way of doing it. I can turn this off again and place this where I want. Press Z to turn it off and then continue working on your on your model, uh, changing the colors back and doing whatever. There's one way to do it, but if you want a quicker way to do it, often uh, if you just go into Photoshop first. So here I have the same image in Photoshop. So we can just do a quick select of this. I'm just using the quick select tool here. And then we can uh, control shift I to invert that and control backspace will give us a black background because that's what we have here. So now all I need to do is save this, go back into ZBrush. I'm going to go, I'm going to go back to our spotlight by pressing Z. I'll delete the existing one by pressing this X. And we go back to texture and import. And this time I'll import the new one that we've just created with the black. And when we go to texture and we select that and hit add, add to spotlight, you can see that that's now been added and we can scale this down and move this and anywhere that was black is now hidden in our background so we can overlay this. So this takes up mass, uh, minimum screen space. As usual, click like, subscribe, comment, all that kind of stuff. All right, bye.